Over the past few months, I've been working as a software development engineer intern at Amazon in Vancouver, and today is finally my last day. I'm very grateful to have gotten this opportunity, but is Amazon really worth the hype? In this video, I want to give you a real day in the life of an SDE intern and share my honest thoughts about the internship. So as usual, my day starts around 8am when I leave my UBC campus residence and head to the bus loop. I live in one of the newer residences here and I absolutely love my place. Alright, last day of Amazon. You know, it's going to be a great day, beautiful weather on I'm gonna show you how it goes. UBC has one of the nicest campuses in the whole world. And if you wanna see more of it, check out some of my other videos on my channel. You can see the kids' summer camp over there. You know, it's just good vibes today. I'm loving it. Now it's a quick 45 minute commute to downtown Vancouver from UBC. I absolutely love where the Amazon office is located. On the walk to work, I'm surrounded by these big designer brands like Dior, Gucci, and the Fairmont Hotel. I also walk past the Vancouver Art Gallery, which I've never been inside, but it looks cool, and this huge Apple store. Finally, I see all these big company offices like TD and Microsoft. This is probably one of my favorite parts of my day because it just makes me feel kind of fancy for even getting to work in a sea like this, surrounded by so many big brand names, and it reminds me to always just be thankful. Now we finally reached Amazon's biggest office in Canada, The Post. My team is located on the seventh floor of this building. And although every person is assigned a desk in Amazon, you can work anywhere that's open in the entire building. If you want to see more of the office, I have an entire video on touring it and some of its key highlights, like the basketball court, games room, and more. So I'll link that in the description below if you want to check it out. I have a personal locker on this floor, so after grabbing my work laptop, the first thing I usually do in the morning is grab coffee from the eighth floor. I don't like spending too much time on my desk because it's kind of empty here since my team is usually busy with meetings, so I like working in more live environments so I don't get bored. The 8th floor features our cafe which has a wide selection of food and drinks. We all get one free drink a day from here, although there's unlimited coffee and tea in every kitchen in the office. And you want latte for AB? Yeah, AB, thanks. Thank you. So usually, this is my go-to place to work. I like it here because it's a nice little private area and it's also right beside the cafe and there's washrooms like right behind this wall. So I feel like it's just a very convenient spot and um, also has good lighting and I get to see a lot of people here. And there's also pooch parking right beside me. So people will like tie up their dogs here when they want to go get coffee. But today I won't be sitting here because there's like nowhere I can set up my camera really. And um, I just want to switch it up for my last day. So we're going to be heading to one of the upper floors. It actually feels surreal that it's my last day. I can still remember when I was worried about if I would make it through this internship and now I've pretty much completed everything I need to do. I'm just wrapping up a few things here now. After my short little work session, I decided to go explore more of this floor because honestly, I haven't even been to every part of the office. 
I discovered this super nice team suite that was completely empty and had amazing city views. Okay, so now I want to take a little bit of time to talk about the actual internship experience itself. So as some of you may know, uh, I started this internship uh, in May of this summer and today is my last day. It was a total of 16 weeks. Yeah, overall, I just want to start off by saying um, I think this is one of the greatest experiences that any uh, software engineer could hope for, especially um, for an internship in university. So basically this internship is structured to give you a sense of what um, it's like to be a full-time software development engineer at Amazon. Interns are placed on a specific team, whether that's in Amazon or AWS, and then you are given a specific project to complete during your time that has a real impact. So for me, I was in AWS on um, a team called AWS Kumo, and you can search it up if you wanna learn more, but essentially my team makes Gen AI tools for uh, support. Day to day in my internship experience, you know, you work like a regular software engineer at most companies, you know, you write code, you participate in daily stand-up, which is kind of just like a team meeting where everyone gives their updates on like the work they've done, doing code reviews and collaborating, you know, with your teammates. You know, I also got exposed to Amazon's internal tools and using those, and it takes a little while to get used to because uh, you know, I haven't worked with a lot of these softwares before. At the end of your internship, you obviously deliver your project, hopefully, and you present this project to the rest of the team as well as other members from the organization because uh, a lot of people are interested in, you know, the work that interns have done. And then you get feedback on your performance at Amazon. So essentially this internship is kind of like a long extended interview in the sense that they're constantly evaluating how you're doing on like a day-to-day -day basis. You know, they're trying to see if you would be a good fit for that role. Based on your performance in this interview and the work you did with your project, your manager and maybe a few members of your team decide whether or not they're inclined to give you a return offer or a return internship offer. In my case, because I'm not graduating um, next year and I still have one more summer left before I graduate, I would be considered for a return internship offer, not full-time. Now, I don't exactly know the logistics of this return offer, return internship offer, but basically your manager just tells Amazon either yes, you know, this is someone that we ideally want to Keep or not really like we don't want this guy now that doesn't necessarily mean you're guaranteed a return offer or return internship offer that's just what your manager has said Amazon then decides when where and if to even give you a full-time or return internship offer but anyway those are things that are kind of just out of your control and you have to hope for the best but during your internship i'd say just focus on uh, learning lots and showing your team that you are someone that they want to have now let's talk about the pros and maybe some of the cons of working at amazon so one of the biggest pros of an amazon sd internship is obviously this is one of the biggest companies in the world and having this on your resume is a great look for any future jobs that you might want to have other than just looking good you actually get to work on real impactful projects that affect customers and internal teams as well amazon gives interns a lot of ownership so you're not just doing you know some extra work no one cares about you actually design code and deliver actual projects that mean something you also get exposure to cutting edge tools and technology like AWS and that's a huge skill to have for any software engineer. Honestly, I think everyone should aim to try to work at a big company like Amazon, especially early on in your career, 
just because it opens a lot of doors and it also lets you understand scale that they do their work at. I feel like it's harder to transition from working at a smaller company to a big company. Another pro I'd like to point out is the intern community at Amazon. The interns are honestly pretty well connected and if you want, you can really easily like, you know, hang out with other interns and make plans to do other things. Overall, it's a great experience for your career. And of course, the compensation even for interns is very competitive compared to a lot of other companies, especially in Canada. Now on the flip side, because Amazon is known for being fast paced and high pressure sometimes, um, you're kind of expected to deliver results quickly, so that might feel a little intense to you. Um, I would say work-life balance here varies a lot by the team you're on and like the manager you have. So for instance, I've heard of Amazon interns like even this summer spending, you know, 10 hours or 12 hours a day trying to complete their intern project. Whereas other interns, maybe like you're only working six, seven. I just been right on the highway. Seven hours a day max and you're still getting all your work done on time. So honestly, it's a little bit of just luck with um, the kind of team you get put on and the kind of projects you get. Another thing that I guess I kind of dislike is the fact that you're expected to come in person to the office every day. I feel like a big advantage of being a software engineer is that you have the ability to work online. But um, yeah, if you don't have a problem with coming into work every day, then it's not a big deal. Overall, I guess I would describe Amazon's internship experience as maybe intense, but uh, very rewarding at the end. So anyone out there aiming for this internship, I promise you do not have to be like a super cracked software engineer. I did not think I would ever land this internship and I did. And even once I was here, you know, I always had that thought in the back of my mind where it's like, do I really belong here? Am I smart enough to be here? I promise you everyone has those same thoughts. And uh, at the end of the day, you have to understand like one, you're an intern and two, this is just a software engineering job. It's just like any other job. Maybe it's a little more fast paced and maybe like the company's a bit bigger, but at the end of the day, like the soft skills you have are gonna apply everywhere. And if you just focus on treating this like a learning opportunity, even if you find it hard sometimes, uh, I think it's definitely worth it. Okay, so that's enough yapping for now. Uh, it's currently 12.45 and um, I'm gonna go have some lunch now. Also, at this point in the video, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Please subscribe. Another pro, by the way, I quickly forgot to mention is the fact that you can literally dress however you want in the Amazon office. Like, I'm not joking. I have seen people pull up in some of the most atrocious fits of all time. So if you're someone who doesn't really like worrying about what they're gonna wear to work, then this is definitely a company for you. So I'm back on the eighth floor now for lunch. Another perk of the office that I love is that each kitchen is stocked with dishes that you can use. And the best part is that you don't need to wash them afterwards. You just leave them in the sink. There's also some complimentary things like ketchup, mustard, sugar, salt that you can grab from the cafe. It's a nice day today, so I'm gonna go sit in front of this great big window. Now you guys can watch as I devour these sandwiches while I watch some YouTube. Now I just have one final meeting with my manager before I return my laptop and head home. Okay, so I just wrapped up my final meeting of my Amazon internship with my manager. Oh, I love my manager, nicest guy in the world. Honestly, I couldn't have hoped for a better team and a better manager and a better Amazon internship experience. All right, so that concludes my last day at Amazon as an SDE intern. And um, I guess we'll see if I'm back next summer. Well, make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.